Uh, well, for me, it's, a, it's an honor to be here again in Tanzania. Uh, of course, not a lot of people know that I didn't play for Yanga, but I signed for Yanga a couple of years back before I started my international journey all the way to Sanda. So for me, I feel at home. But uh, overall, I'm here to do a job. The team is here to do the job. And of course, to play under an incredible support that is being given to the team. Uh, Yanga, and of course, we also won some supporters when we came here to play Bomamuro a couple of months back. So I believe that uh, uh, Tanzanians and Africa in large will watch a beautiful game tomorrow, beautiful football, and uh, obviously, I believe that the goals will be in, and we hope that the goals will be for us. So, yeah, we are here, we're ready, we're playing a very good team with a lot of qualities, and I believe that uh, they are not here by accident. They've done well in the competition. They played last season in the Confederation Cup, and uh, they went all the way. They could have won it, but of course, that gave them a step forward to the Champions League. So, we know that we're playing a team which is very good, experienced, a lot of good players, but we are also ready for the challenge because we were knocked out last season in the semi-final so the target is go all the way to the final but we know it's not going to be easy so yeah we're ready for the challenge questions yeah uh Oyango, how are you good how are you boss I'm, I'm good my name is sabaha from wasafi media you can call me heavyweight uh, I want to ask you about the, uh, on paper, young Africans are, they are underdogs on paper. Does it give you an extra job to do, to face them? Thank you, heavyweight. <laughs> well, football is not played on paper. We've seen, uh, especially in the AFCON, the so-called smaller teams, they've uh, made it a little bit difficult for the bigger teams. We saw in Ivory Coast where they lost 4 nil at home to an underdog. So for us, every game is big. There is no underdogs. We're 11 against 11 on the pitch, and it's, it's every man for himself. We do not look at uh, players individually. We look at the entire team. So it's not about the underdog tag. We are all playing at the same level, so we just need to, to do our job and uh, try and get over the line. Good afternoon, Onyango. Welcome back to Tanzania. Uh, being an uh, experienced player of Mammal Sundowns and uh, your experience on East Africa, in playing at Nkapa Stadium several times, uh, does it add anything in the uh, Mammal Sundown squad, uh, especially playing against young African that you know very well? Yeah, thank you very much. Of course, uh, I also have to add my, my experience as a senior player in the team and of course someone who has played here a couple of times in Tanzania for the national team and the club level. So I, I also have to help the team, help the team to win with the experience I have on and off the pitch. We know how uh, the supporters come in big numbers, how it's, it's a little bit difficult for us but we, we, we are used to these things. We are ready for all the challenges. As long as we are on the pitch, it's 11 versus 11. And uh, whatever information I pass on to the next player, whoever is on the pitch or if I'm on the pitch, it has to be in favor of the club. So, yeah, my, my, my presence also means a lot to the club and I have to, to help them and do whatever I can to try and get the results. Yes, uh, good afternoon, Dennis. <laughs> Clive Chester from Uganda. Since winning the Champions League in 2016, Ma Melody Sundowns has only made the semi-finals on two occasions. Uh, playing against a younger side that is very hungry in this position for the first time, they have a lot of belief. How much pressure comes with that for a Ma Melody Sundowns side that wants to win their second Champions League title? Um, thank you very much, Clive. Uh, I think it's been a work in progress. The team has changed a lot since we won uh, the Champions League in 2016. But as, as hungry they, as they are, we are more hungrier than, than they are. We believe that uh, coming short last season in the semi-finals against Wydad, 
we believe that uh, we need to dig a little bit deeper this season because we're moving forward as a club. We're looking forward to going all the way to the final and that's our target. So it's going to be difficult. We know how difficult it is to win the Champions League with a lot of traveling, a lot of uh, games. But we have the squad and we need to manage that and also use the experience that we have that we've been using in all these Champions League games to try and get to the final. So we have to keep fighting. Two last questions. How are you, sir? Good, how are you, boss? Diego uh, from Kitenge TV. Uh, we all know tomorrow the clash of titans. Uh, the social medias and the football fans, you are their favorites to win the game. Did that give you a, a high confidence uh, to challenge any Africans in their homeland? Well, social media doesn't play football. <laughs> of course. Everyone gives us a chance to win, but tomorrow it's going to be 11 versus 11. The social media guys will stay on the phones, they will tweet, they will do their Facebook after the game or before the game, but the pitch matters and what the results give us is what's important. So we, well, the moment we cross the line to the pitch, we forget about everything, but we also know that we need to make our supporters back, back home happy. We need to kill the game here and make sure that uh, when young Africans come to Pretoria, we have uh, an upper hand. So it's going to be very, very, very difficult. But of course, we have to dominate and try and play beautiful football for the continent.